Hi, so here we have a um, new kit from Special Hobby and it's as you can see Heinkel H115 but it's not like a common kit, it's a special edition which is dedicated for the Scandinavian service aircrafts as you can see and it's 48 scale aircraft which features uh, I would say like I think there are three marking schemes marking options for this aircraft and they are shown there it's Finnish, Swedish and Norwegian uh, air services uh, so model as you can see from the size of this box is really huge and uh, let's see what's inside on the sides there is nothing special there is some basic info about the model some photos and again as you can see it's really big here is my hand so you can see the scale of this box size of the so it's quite a top opening box and when you open it you see this inside so we have a manual we have clear parts decals and resin parts attached to the special cardboard and plastic parts so let's go one by one and see what's inside and decide if it's really interesting or not. So here is the plastic parts, as you can see they are packed in this plastic bag, which is easy to open. And the only thing which is a bit confusing for me because like everything is packed in this one bag and Mm, you should be careful while, when buying this kit because something can be damaged because of this packing. Just look on the Sphinx, they are huge. Uh, okay, so let's go one by one. We'll check every part and we'll begin from the fuselage halves. They're really heavy. So here we are. They are really heavy and the molding quality is pretty good. Uh, it's a very strong plastic I would say. Very durable. And what else? It has this recessed panel lines but they are not that deep so you should be careful with priming or everything will be omitted. What's inside? Inside you have some really basic cockpit digitalization. But it's really nice to have it because I mean it should look nice on the assembled kit. And once again I will show the size of this fuselage. And as a reminder it's 48 scale so it should be a really huge model. Here is my hand once again for the scale. We move on. And next parts are floats. There are two of them. I think it's unnecessary to show each one, so we will check out only one sprue. And here it is. As you can see molding is again good, I would say there is no flesh, again recessed panel lines, on the inside of course there is nothing, uh, what's really confusing here is that there are no position tabs, so you have to figure it out how to glue them together without any problems. Otherwise, it's really interesting. Okay, let's move on. So, here comes this first sprue. I think it's... Yeah, oh, I think it's right wing. Or maybe left, who knows. <laughs> uh, I will focus it a bit. So here you see all those panel lines. There are even some riveting done. Uh, flap cellar on some molded as one part with wing so you cannot position them in any other position 
Uh, what's else? There is no wheel well detailization on the inside. I think it will be given as a separate part. Plastic is a bit, uh, I would say, rough. So you have to sand it a bit to get a smooth surface. Okay. First sprue with small parts. I think all those parts are for cockpit. Really nice detailization, I would say, like nothing is damaged or has some molding problems. And at the same time, it's like, um, I would say, just good. We move on. And here is the second part. Second sprue. Okay. So you see it. It's also some nice molding, but again, the surface of the plastic is a bit rough and sanding is like a way to go with those parts if you want to get a smooth surface okay so here I think we have a tail points again some process panel lines <laughs> that's really interesting here because uh, wheel uh, I would say wheel What's that? I think so. It's the landing gear part, and it's as you can see a bit different from other parts because it's shiny and it's more or less smooth. Uh, as you can see, it's like mirror like surface, and here you have this sharp surface which is not so shiny. So, what else? Okay, so here are uh, propeller blades, they are molded as separate parts. So, there are three of them, which are placed on this base plate and close to this part. Engine cooling, and what else? Uh -huh. So, it's just only one tailplane, which is assembled from two halves, this one and this one. And if we have one sprue with those parts, we have another one. And another one, and another one. I don't know why. It's really interesting. We will have to figure it out. Because we have this, this, and this. Oh, I'm sure it like this. Pretty much the same molding quality. Here we have the smooth surface on this part. Here it's also smooth, here it's a bit rough. Okay. Let's move on. And the final sprue is this huge wing. Another one. As you can see, the same quality, a bit more smooth surface, but still it needs some sanding done to be done. And, and that's pretty much all. I didn't see any wheel wells detailization, so I guess it would be not that much detailed as you can see. So. I need a bit of time to get those clear parts unattached. Just a bit of time. 
And we get them almost ready in a moment. And here we are. It's not a nice one. Somebody using those paper clips. Even though those back is like, as you can see, it opens like this. But it was attached with this metal fingers. So, clear sprue. Clear sprues, I would say it's excellent, as you can see. I'll focus the camera. And you can see the all parts are clear as quest. Clear, shiny. It should look nice on the assembled model. I'm not sure if it's if it features open and closed, but I suppose so. So you get pretty detailed canopy. Of course there would be a bunch of work to be done with this mask in all the series, but the result would surprise you. Okay. Then we have this uh, we have those resin parts which are also packed in the back. And that's mainly engine parts, so I will show just one set because I think there is no difference in showing the several ones. Ah, also guns and some boxes and hot cells. Okay, we will check everything here. Okay, so engine is nice. As you can see, it's pretty, and it should be should look really nice on the assembled model. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed that there are no plastic engines; there are only resin parts. There are two of them. Okay, so we move on, and the next part is a. I don't even know with it, but I think it's for faults. Maybe some anti slippery parts or something else. Some equipment boxes. As you can see, quality is also good. Machine guns. There are two of them in the set, and it makes four machine guns in one set. All the quality is really good. And what else? Those parts should be specified what for. We will see them in the manual and I will specify it in the article. This one as well. Still molding quality is pretty good. And this one. Maybe some antenna, maybe something else. Okay, we move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have decals. 
uh, some film and P parts. Let's look on them closely. Let's check first those P parts which feature pretty much standard options it's a dashboard, belts, some external upgrades and what's else I think that's pretty much all so there is no specification who produces decals but the quality is good Okay. Then we have two sets, I would say not sets, sets of decals, because they are huge, that's why we can't release them. Okay, so here is the first one. Printing quality is really good, it's printed in Ivy print. But covers are bright, everything is sharp, as you can see nice. And here some other decals. Pretty surprising that there is no uh, separate sheet for the uh, stencils. I mean such huge model should be it's like a must have for such a huge model because it would look much better but we have this uh, special film I would focus it like this special film with dials for the dashboard and it's pretty much all and of course there is this nice covered manual which is printed uh, on this small I think it's A5 size paper cockpit as I can see would be really detailed I would show it closer ok so here we are Really many parts. Uh, cover guide is used in Gunze, so it should be easy to convert or to decide which cover you want to use. There, of course, there is uh, parts guide and what else? I would focus it a bit. Okay, so we have. Oh, oh. Assembly, 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 and of course marking options which are explained in color from any point of view. It's really nice. This Norwegian, Swedish, Swedish, and of course Finnish. What else I can say about this model? I think, in my opinion, it's really interesting release because of the unusual marking options. But you have such small problems, I would say, with lack of stencils, and maybe um, they could have add more bonuses, for example, PE parts for the external digitalization. Uh, but I recommend to read full review with my, um, I would say, detailed explanations and detailed commentaries on this model and I really thankful for watching this video so don't forget to subscribe on our channel and don't forget to check out our Facebook group thanks for watching and see you soon